Hey, this is Jamie with UK Extension talking about perennials. Today we're going to talk about echinaceas, and it's kind of a loaded topic, so I'm going to get a little bit in the weeds with some of my discussion of what's perennial, what's not, what you can believe to be perennial. I have what, to my opinion, planted here is some of the best, most persistent, longest lived assorted colors of echinacea that I've ever experienced. Let me be clear, echinacea, the straight forms, the, the pink and the white, have been with us for years. They are long-term perennials and they do seed about the garden and once you have them, you'll hardly ever lose them. These newer colors that are all the rage, the oranges, the reds, the non-natural colors for echinacea species are everywhere right now. They're very expensive and there's millions more hitting the market like every week. So just be aware that most of those have not been tested for perennial performance. And in trials that we've done informally, um, we find that most of them are barely going to make it past two years if you even get a second year. This is a seed grown cultivar that comes as a mixed colors only. It is called Cheyenne Spirit. It is a very good thing to know because these have been here for six to seven years and we are still, these are the law, the original plants died first year or two. These are seed grown plants that have come back each year and you can see from this shot, we're still getting yellows, we're still getting reds, oranges, all the unique colors. I've never had this happen with any other multicolored coneflower cultivars I've tried to grow. So this is worth mentioning, but I'm not denigrating all the beautiful new ones. They're just going to not be the same as these others. In many cases, they're almost annual flowers. But they do have some worthy attributes, known sizes and heights, and a lot of really pretty things. Lots of the double forms are available now. So coneflowers by and of themselves are a good plant. Just be aware when we plant some of those newest, most exotic ones, they may not have the same ease of growth and longevity as the old fashioned purples and whites that I'm showing you here. These old fashioned colors that have been with us for years will hardly ever let you down in a full sun situation. I should also mention native to a degree. These are more native than some of the exotic ones, but they're all loved by hummingbirds, pollinators, and, all, and the bees, the things that we want to encourage and bring to our gardens. So don't overlook echinacea. If you're planting your first perennial bed, it should be in your top five just to have long bloom, great performance, but think about the longer lived ones for your future ease of growth. Echinacea or purple coneflower as it is known, great native perennial, and now we have all these selections that aren't quite native, but are very, very similar and grow the same. Plan on it being in your garden if you don't already have it acquire some. It's a staple and a backbone plant of good perennial plantings.